Joining me now is Joshua Kulensik, Senior Fellow for Southeast Asia at the Council on Foreign Relations. I should correct myself. Uh, it is a presidential election, prime minister's um, election going on over there. Um, five years ago, sir, under military rule, um, how do you think this election will change the landscape of Thai politics? Um, I think that it doesn't change that much. It does seem like the pro-military party has done better than expected, although the scope of ir potential irregularities is going to be a problem for the legitimacy of the election. It has um, the one thing that your correspondent said that um, about the uh, that the election has created the prospect of large and unwieldy coalitions. I just want to say that's I think what the military wants, and that's what they wanted when they re revised or created a new constitution. Not only did they want to break up the toxins pro-toxin parties, they want unwieldy coalitions because an unwieldy coalition is more easy to be dominated by the military and pro-military parties. So in this case, um, I think it's the result. The it couldn't be a better result, really, for the military, despite the fact that the election may be tainted by irregularities. So to what extent do you think this election will reignite tensions of different political parties, different groups, different factions in Thailand? Because over and over again in the past two decades, we saw chaos um, before and after elections. Well, there wasn't chaos always before and after elections. The chaos had to do more with concerns about Tuxin and then concerns about military rule, not just specifically related to elections. So that did happen in 2014. I think the fundamental problems in Thailand haven't really been solved, although the better than expected result possibly for the junta party might lead to some stability in the short term. They're, they still haven't really resolved the problem of the, there's a contestation over what makes legitimate government. They haven't resolved the problem that Thailand is really like the last middle or upper income country in the world where the military has played such a large role. There are other countries where the military isn't such a powerful independent actor, but they tend to be relatively poor countries or countries that are close to, that are fragile states like Pakistan. Thailand is really an outlier, and that's a problem. Um, they hasn't really resolved the, the issue of sort of Thailand's growing inequality and regional divides. And even though Thaksin's party did perhaps not as well as expected, the stakes, the, the game was kind of rigged against it. And I don't think that Thaksin is going to go away. And there was another party called Future Forward that was an anti junta sort of pro democracy party that did very well. So, yeah, in the long term, I, you know, I mean, I think Thailand remains a place that's going to be plagued by a serious instability. So surrounding elections, this uncertainty, uh, as some economists point out, might cloud, uh, might negatively impact Thailand's economic outlook. Well, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think Thailand has done relatively well over the last 18 years of instability for a country that's been plagued by instability. People like mm -hmm. Thailand, you know, Chinese investors, Japanese investors, American investors, they, uh, European investors, they like to invest in Thailand because Thailand's a welcoming place and it's a nice place to, to live and, and things like that. But at a certain point, the instability has dragged the economy down. They're underperforming where they should be. Other countries in the region, uh, not just China, but Vietnam and other countries that are much poorer than China and even poorer than Thailand, have started to eat into the areas that Thailand has been successful in. And I don't see that General Paiute, who's the likely prime minister and has been the prime minister for five years, has a plan for reversing these serious problems. And so I think the economy is going to continue to do okay but to underperform where it should be and to not set Thailand up to be competitive with where the other countries in the region that it should be. A lot at the stake uh, in this uh, election in Thailand. Joshua Kurlinzik, a senior fellow at uh, Council on Foreign Relations, thank you so much.